What's going on, people? This is Big Said, industry co-sign. What up? I'm out in Hollis, Queens. I'm going to let the man introduce himself and why I'm here. What up, world? This is O, all the all. You in Hollis, famous Burgers, and also the Hollis Hip Hop Museum. You might see a couple of write-ups in the New York Times, Daily News, News One. You know, if you Google Hollis, famous Burgers, or Hollis Hip Hop Museum, you see like 12,000 media servants picked it up because it's authentic. We're in the middle of Hollis, Queens, the home of Run DMC, Russell Simmons, LL Cool J, Ed Lover, Herb Gotti, Ja Rule, the list goes on. The Afros, Showboys, Hollis Crew. Hollis Crew was the first record on, on Def Jams. Right behind me, you see these plaques right here. These plaques are from Daryl McDaniels himself, DMC. And basically, these are the first plaques ever printed in rap music. You know what I'm saying? So you know we have the extra cameras in there to keep going. Okay. So how long have you been open and what, what gave you the idea to do something like this? Well, we've been open since July, but for the first six months, we just concentrated on the restaurant, which is the Olive Famous Burgers. And we made sure we got that right because, you know what I'm saying, it's still a restaurant, first and foremost. And then Christmas, we shut down the day after Christmas, and for a week, and put up all the memorabilia from all the people from Hollis. And the, the idea was behind it just was to, you know, Hollis, you know, we have problems all over the world, but Hollis is a small community that still has its own problems. So the vision was to package all of the music that came out of Hollis, because as I said in one of the articles, you know, Hollis is like our Nashville, our Motown, our Beale Street in, in, in Memphis. Hollis, pound for pound, has probably put out more music than any community in rap music, if you just look at Death Jam. So it was a way to sort of package the history of the community and then use it to motivate you. Use it to motivate the kids in the neighborhood to show them that they're not just walking through a neighborhood with abandoned buildings and foreclosed houses, that this is a, this is a, music, a, a community with history. You know what I'm and a lot of people don't understand unless they see it. So the vision was to package it, put it all on the wall so they can come in here, sit down and eat, and while they eat, they can see the history of the neighborhood. And then further than that, it was a way to bring the neighborhood together too, because a lot of people don't understand the significance of sitting and eating together. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these young dudes that wasn't really vibing with each other previously, now they sit down and they eat together, they get to know get to know each other, and I'm watching the neighborhood sort of bond a little bit through the restaurant. Okay, so um, speaking of history, I know you have a little history in the industry, so why don't you tell people, you know, I guess where I, where I know you from. <laughs> well, I mean, me, me and you know each other for a long time, so, you know what I'm saying, but going back, you know, I was a rapper at one time, I was uh, in a group called Showboys, that was the second group to sign the profile record after Run DMC, and ultimately uh, created a record called Trigger Man, which is uh, according to Rolling Stone magazine, the most sampled rap record for rap music. You know, a lot of people sample R&B or jazz for rap, but our record was sampled by all the down south producers, Little John, Manny Fresh, Three Six Mafia, David Banner. The list goes on. It's, it's sampled in all every down south record that come out of New Orleans. After my music career, I went into uh, Adidas and I uh, became a uh, global marketing manager for Adidas for all the urban initiatives. That was the Missy Elliott project, a lot of the um, the sports projects, Keyshawn Johnson, Tracy McGrady, a little bit of Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, a lot of their projects. And I was with Adidas for 15 years as a market manager, went through a lot of different departments. Now I went on to be a director of marketing around Jay Records, artists like um, Hurricane Chris, Day Day Day, Dean Sky, um, uh, Yo Gotti, Pitbull, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've done a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? But this restaurant, Hip Hop Museum, is clearly the most challenging, but the most satisfying. Okay. Why don't you give us the address to here so that way people want to come through, they don't know where to go. All right, well, you know what, Hollis is, you know, a little part of New York and Queens, and we're on Hollis Avenue, 203rd Street, because ask anybody to come to Queens with Hollis Avenue. They'll point you in the right direction. You get to Hollis Avenue, 203rd Street, right in the corner. 
Okay, is there anything that you're working on now or anything that you're outside of this that you're doing? Well, you know, now right now this is it. I'm trying to really expand this. Um, I, I really want to turn this into not only a restaurant and a museum, but a cultural center. You know, I want to use some of our hours maybe that are not open in the morning to invite school bands and school music departments in with their classes and have the different artists from the neighborhood, the Russell Simmons, the Run DMCs, the LLs coming and speak to the kids in the morning and have their music class here. So we really want to turn into a cultural center. Um, I recently have been appointed to the, the Queens, the Hollis Community Board. So I want to expand my, my, my involvement in the neighborhood and start helping it build it back up. I'm vice president of the uh, Merchants Alliance also, so we're going to try to get the merchants together. There's a lot of black, um, young, new business owners in the neighborhood. Now, I'm not going to stop there and try to get the, you know, the new young business owners together with the other business owners, the Chinese, uh, Iranians, and everybody. To try to get Hollis back to where it was, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be doing all these plaques in the world. And so, Got a lot of things coming up, but I'm going to try to focus a lot on this community and, and build this restaurant and museum. And it's something I've been here for a long time I've gone for. Do you have any advice for anybody that wants to start their own business? Well, just like this. Like, if you want to do it, commit to it. You know what I'm saying? You know, obviously you want to be successful. Obviously you want to make money. And you know, that, that's part of business. But the main thing is to commit to it. If you want to get in it, commit to it, work hard at it. And, you know what I'm saying, have your own plan. If you have a plan, you know, you can't be jerked. There's a lot of things you don't do when you start a business that a lot of people look at from the outside and think you're crazy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the, the, uh, a lot of the things you're going to have to put into it, people are going to say you won't get it back out. But if you know that's what you want to do, you'll get everything that you dream about. It. So if you want to do it, commit to it, no matter what it is. Any last words? I'm the Hollis Famous Burger, man. Come see these plaques on the wall, you know what I'm saying? And see a part of Hollis history. You know what I'm okay. saying? Well, thank you for taking time to speak to the Industry Co-Sign. Good luck with the business. No doubt. Industry Co-Sign. I need to stay for a little... I don't want to say anything. <laughs> you can edit that. But okay. Y'all, y'all, y'all stay tuned. Industry Co-Sign. All right. Out. Peace. Right, the big...